And the Iraqi military declares curfew in Baghdad. Welcome back to the news in details. In Egypt's Red Sea Resort of Sharm el Sheikh on Monday, President Abdel Fattah el Sisi inaugurated the 38th World Radio Communication Conference. Addressing the inaugural session, President el Sisi said the conference reflects the progress of human civilization. President Abdel Fattah el Sisi inaugurated on Monday the 38th World Radio Communication Conference. Addressing the inaugural session, President el Sisi welcomed all the participants. The president said the conference reflects the progress of human civilization. El Sisi said that Egypt will have its active input on issues on the agenda of the conference, which will contribute in mobilizing the fifth generation of technological networks, including platforms and communication satellites. This will accelerate the achievement of sustainable development goals. In his speech, the Minister of Communication and Information Technology, Amr Talat, said that Egypt is one of the founding and active countries in the International Telecommunication Union since it joined in 1876. The minister said that issues on the agenda of the meeting are of high importance and called for cooperation to reach agreement on topics of mutual interest. In his speech, the president of the radio communication sector of the International Telecommunication Union said that conference will tackle the use of radio communication without risks and investments in activities that contribute to the social development. The secretary general of the ITU hailed Egypt's role in hosting the conference, stressing the importance of the gathering to the radio industry and not for the communication union. The conference is held for the first time in 20 years outside the International Telecommunication Union headquarters in Geneva. The event will run from 28th of October to the 22nd of November. More than 3,500 participants from 140 countries and more than 50 ministries and deputy ministers from around the world will participate in the conference in addition to more than 50 companies and international organizations working in the field of telecommunications. At least 1,000 specialized research papers will be discussed at the conference. The event is organized by the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, the National Telecommunications Regulatory Authority and Telecom Egypt in cooperation with South Sinai Governorate. World Radio Communications are held every three to four years. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi today conducted an inspecting tour in Sharm el-Sheikh where he was briefed on the security system and checkpoints at the entrance of the city. The president was also briefed by security officials on the safety measurements and CCTVs in the control rooms. President Sisi also inspected the ring road near Roiset. On the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference Core Group held in Cairo, the General Intelligence Agency hosted a roundtable meeting today. The meeting was attended by a number of senior international intelligence and security figures from world countries. Earlier, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received on Sunday the delegations taking part in the Munich conference. And Egyptian and Jordanian armed forces continued the joint military drills code named Aqaba 5. The exercise is a continuation of a series of joint drills between the two countries' armed forces with the aim of strengthening cooperation and raising military capabilities and readiness to face regional challenges. Aqaba 5 will be held in the southern military area and the Red Sea Operations Zone. The Egyptian and Jordanian maritime and ground forces are taking part in the drills. The exercise includes the implementation of several maritime and land activities. Several practical and theoretical lectures will be held as part of the training. Egypt welcomed the U.S. announcement on eliminating chief of the Daesh terrorist group Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi as an important step in efforts to uproot terrorism. Spokesman for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Councillor Ahmad Hafez, said that this is a progress that necessitates a unified action to confront all forms of terrorism without discrimination. He pointed out that all terrorist groups such as Daesh, Al-Qaeda and the Brotherhood come from the same extremist ideology. The spokesman said that dealing with terrorism should be based on a comprehensive vision, taking into consideration all security developmental dimensions. 
The spokesman reiterated the call on the international community to hold accountable countries that play a negative role by supporting terrorism, by providing funds and safe havens in addition to opening platforms for spreading extremist ideologies in a way that undermines world and regional stability.